One day closer to the closed scrimmage, which means Coach Lansing's crew continues to go through final preparations before Sunday's test. I just talked about we got to take these two days like you're going in for a game on Sunday because we, we do have a live game on Sunday. Uh, and I thought the guys did a good job with it. You know, we, we got to go after each other, compete at a high level, but our execution on both ends uh, has, has to continue to get better. And, and they did that today. You know what stinks when you're early in the year, you have to stop and you have to talk and you have to teach a lot. So the guys got to concentrate and you got to get through that and they got to pay attention so the coaches don't have to repeat themselves. But we got a lot of we got a lot of stuff in today. We got a lot of good work in. Even though it is only October 20th, finding a way to integrate in-game situations in the practice is something you see all the time in a plethora of sports. The Sycamores worked at it at length this afternoon. I find myself uh, going longer during the other stuff, so I, I always have that at the end to put something, put them in a situation so they're thinking at the end of practice. And I have to do a better job of getting us through that. Um, but all kinds of situations, you know, whether it's a two for one situation or it's a free throw and you're down and you got to deny and foul if you don't get a steal. So you have to go through all those stuff. Uh, and when they, you know, we talk about what we want to do and why we want to do it. Why, at what time is a two for one? Is it what time do you come down and uh, a certain amount of time on the clock and you're down uh, three? Can you get a quick two? And then and then and then pick up and file. So there's a lot of different things that you that you work on, and you, you need to take time with it. It's not easy to fit it in, but we need to. Tomorrow there will be a practice on campus in ISU Arena. Fans are more than welcome to stop by as doors are open, and practice will begin around roughly 11:30 in the morning. It is just another day to go through that final checklist before the scrimmage. Well, it'll be a lot of going over stuff, reviewing stuff. We do need to compete for a little while. I'm sure there's going to be some people in here. Uh, with homecoming and, and the doors will be open. It'll be a little chaotic, but that's okay. Uh, but we'll have to go through all of our stuff, everything that we're gonna use on Sunday. So it'll be a shorter practice with a bit of, bit of review at the end. Gigantic news earlier today as well. The budget for a $50 million renovation to the Holman Center was approved and is happening. A project that has been in the works for a long time is finally going to be a reality for Sycamore basketball. Uh, relief more than anything else. You know, it's been a long time we've been working on this, and I've kind of been, I've, I haven't been as much in the loop uh, just because of the, all the political things and, and, and who are, who's making the decision, but I know a lot of people worked awfully hard at it, and uh, I can't tell you how pleased I am. You know, we, we have to stay, it is an arms race. No matter if people want to say it is or not, it's an arms race, and uh, your facilities have to get upgraded. Uh, all kind of your budgets have to get upgraded and we've been uh, in the conference that's really going to help us. I mean we have a state-of-the-art facility uh, for our home basketball games and it's also great for the community. I'd like to be in there a little more than what we are but uh, it's something we can really sell and I know we're going to be good so it's going to be a pretty exciting time for the, for the basketball program. We will be off tomorrow from basketball coverage. We got a football game to win against the Salukis. Until Monday, reporting from ISU Arena, on Sycamore Basketball for GoSycamores.com, I'm Luke Martin.